When you want to check on your student's progress, you'll use the activity completion report. I'll show you how to get to that in a moment, but first let's take a look at this course page. So this course page has eight activities that have been shown to students near the top or at the top. Uh, a number of other activities are also here, but you'll also notice that there is a checkbox beside each activity. Now this checkbox is for students to know when they've completed an activity. When they view the course homepage, there will be a check mark in each box that they have completed. Now if we return to the top of the page in the course menu, we will click on the more button. Now this takes us to the course administration page where we can access next to reports activity completion. So here is the activity completion report. There is a row with all of the activities in the course at the top and on the left side there is a name of all the uh, sorry a column with all of the students names. Now this can be sorted by first name or by surname. You can also filter it so if you just wanted to see the students whose last name started with starts with C you click C next to surname. We'll return, we'll click all. Now as I showed you there were eight activities available on the um, at the top of the page. So all of these activities are in the same sequence as they are on the course page. Now we look, uh, we see Lee Chan has completed six of the first seven activities. Charlie Forzam has completed seven of them and so forth. Um, there's also one option which some teachers may find useful and that is to download this uh, report into a, an Excel spreadsheet.